have made it here. It is the time for us to take a piss and dump on these top 10 movies, these worst movies of 2016. Only way to feel better about myself, I have to compare it to The Suicide Squad. Now, The Suicide Squad is the is the top 10 movies of 2016 of course but all but also it will correspond with my favorite members of the suicide squad so without further ado let's begin i cannot wait now, these are the movies that are so terrible and so filthy disgusting it has to be in my dishonorable mention it wasn't disgusting enough to reach in the top 10 here is the dishonorable mentions. So let's begin the countdown. The top 10 Suicide Squad movies of 2016. These movies are so bad and so terrible that it makes you want to commit suicide. So without further ado, let's begin with number... Oh, oh, ah, ah. Let's go with number 10. Jack Reacher never go back. Apparently, never go back into being a good movie. Like, really, you you went to a, a, a spectacular movie and also a, a very compelling plot twist into a, a a teen drama where you had to save a kid who is not really yours. Why are we wasting our minds on this whole entire film? And the action sequences was just okay. And Jack Reacher, the performance from Tom Cruise, he's going to bring it, but yeah, this movie is definitely number 10. Assassin's Creed. Oh, man. Oh, Assassin's Creed it was very disappointing. Like, take it from a guy who played the video games. Like, a person who took time and effort to play the story mode. And then you waiting for an Assassin's Creed movie to give you, get to bring you into this movie hoping it will be good. And what happened? It wasn't good at all. This movie was very disappointing. All the actors in this movie was just... Eh. Meh. Very terrible. This is a very terrible movie. I want to forget this movie. Walk the bar, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, Morse chestnut. Morse chestnut. Morse chestnut. Only reason why females want to go to this movie is because of Morris Chestnut. And that's the only reason why this movie is somewhat relevant. Morris Chestnut. If I can strap him on to a rocket ship, I would press, I would definitely would be honored to press that button and see him fly to the sun and get destroyed. So therefore, we won't longer have none of these unnecessary black movies with Morris Chestnut. I think I'm tired of Morris Chestnut. I'm tired of these. I'm tired of production company just dropping the movie out just for them, just for them, just for the money, and just for me to just throw money at it like it's a stripper.
this movie did not make sense. Like, you're giving me a point. It's like, this whole entire review, it's about the top 10 worst films of 2016. How would you feel if I go on topic and then I switch to a different topic? Huh. Hear that? What? Uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute. Did I just go off topic? See? See? That's exactly what this movie has done. It it, sh it showed what the movie is about, and then it went off topic to a cornfield, and then you and an audience member does not know what the hell just happened. And that's the reason why this movie got number seven. Michael Bay explosions <laughs> CGI <laughs> Megan Fox I, I just don't understand this film like like it's, it felt like a fourth grader directed this film in the awkward conversations with Kate McKinnon and and Zach Gallagher Zach Gallagher Gal Gal was just terrible every performance in this movie in that movie was terrible every performance in and I just lost brain cells like I literally felt like I was dumb and, it's, and the list is getting worse and worse ah oh, man but well, we gotta do it, do it together. Here is number four. I just really hate that this movie literally tried to make us think that we're dumb by giving us this plausible plot point where I'm gonna, I might as well spoil it because it's so terrible that you don't need to watch this piece of crap. That, that pretty much her son was in a car accident, but Here's what happened. He, the boy, had a plan to be in a car accident to pretend that he could be a paraplegic and scheme to kill his mother. But the, but the doctors told their, his mom, Naomi Watts' character, that his son is paralyzed from the waist down. But the boy wasn't really paralyzed from the waist down because he was acting like he was paralyzed from the waist down. You think the doctors would notice that? Jason Statham, he returns as in Mechanic, and I gotta tell you that uh, uh, the CGI was very terrible. And then you have an Asian, and, and, and then there is this plausible scene. This plausible scene is when you have an Asian in high heels. High heels, like, it's they're so high that a stripper or a, a prostitute it can wear these high heels and literally she was outrunning men full speed apparently the director the director in this movie was like was just drunk off his heels I mean what was he thinking I have a scene where she can outrun uh, a whole bunch of guys because she's hot she's hot uh, you, 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 uh, so she's wearing tennis shoes. That's the reason why she's outrunning men. No, God, no, God damn it. I want her to wear high heels because I want her to run and stuff. The action sequences was downright terrible. <laughs> I just, 
Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I played the action figures growing up. I really enjoyed playing those toys. And just by watching this movie is pretty much a giant middle finger and you're taking that middle finger and then you shove it up in some person's butthole until they you and then you shove it in deep and shove it in deep until you reach their brain. And that's exactly what this movie did to me because I literally wasted $10 on this piece of crap and piece of terrible disgrace of a movie and I regret it and I feel like killing myself and taking a gun and shooting myself in the head and I will actually enjoy it. Oh, this movie was downright terrible. It was no, it was so just downright ridiculous. And a hero, there was a scene in this movie where I, where a hero was being a bitch and just being a scaredy cat and letting everyone that's trying to protect them die. Like, what kind of hero are you? Just let everyone die. And the actress that was in this movie was a stalker. She was pretty much stalking. The, the main character, Max Steele, got this whole entire movie, and they dry, and, ah, oh, oh, my God, oh, my goodness, oh, God, but it's not as bad as number one. Here, here is number one. Collateral Disgrace. Collateral, I refuse to call it by its actual name. Collateral Disgrace is the worst movie of 2016. I bet you're wondering why. Well, let me explain it. In my review, I put it out that this movie is a scam. They they lied, they they cheated, and they and this movie was pretty much a ploy to get money in the box office. This whole entire movie is about Will Smith, who is dealing with the death of his daughter, and then his three co-workers are getting ready to lose their jobs because Will Smith is turning down all the deals because he's their boss, he's the leader of their company, and he's turning down all the deals, so therefore their company's going to go bankrupt. So the three characters, who was played by Michael Pena, Edward Norton Zitt, and Kate Wislet, they hire three actors, Kiara Knightley, Jacob Lattimore, and Helen Marin to play Time, Love, and Death. And while they do that, these three actors, who was played by Michael Pena, Kate Winslet, and Edward Norton Zitt, they hired a private investigator to steal personal information of mail from Will Smith. So therefore, they just broke the law. And then they're going to have the actors, the actors that they hired to play Love, Time, and Death, to talk to Will Smith about love time and death about the daughter and then the private investigator is going to film the video from an iphone and then they're going to film the video of will smith and then they're going to digitally edit the the actors out of the video to make it look like will smith is talking to himself or talking to um, an, an imaginary friend. Now, you see the plausible points of this movie? How in the hell you have the ability, the technology, the software to digitally edit people out of the video? Hey, I have the software. I can do it, you know? But, hey, let me show you. See? See, I can do it. You see, I am digitally edited out of the video. You see that? You see that? Now you see it. Okay. Ah, uh, it's over. I finally, I finally took care of the top 10 worst movies of 2016. I'm going into 2017 hoping for a better year. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. And I cannot wait to start my new review for 2017. Alright guys, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I have, I have over 50 subscribers. That's a huge honor. And I'm looking forward to expand it. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I love you guys. Alright guys, that's the, that's the last video of 2016. And I will have a new video review up and ready in 2017. 
and I cannot wait to give it to you guys. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you like everything you see and you agree, click right here to join me and the Batman family. I'll have more Batman-tastic reviews in 2017. You have been warned. And check out my review and check out my top 10 best movies of 2016. And check out my comic book, my top 10 comic book movies of 2016. And check out my top 5 horror films of 2016. All of that is in the link in the description below. And check out my Batman Analytics video. I actually absolutely love that video. That is the link in the description below. Thank you guys. And also check out my playlist. Check out all my Star Wars reviews. It's called Star Wars Saga. It's in my playlist. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in 2017. Happy New Year. Ciao.